Media Evolution, uh, of course, being what they are, announced an award this year. And being who they are, they named it humbly The Prize. The Prize is awarded to a product or service which is groundbreaking, disruptive, in the positive sense, changing the media landscape, and ideally changing the world. The contenders were selected by everybody. People from all over the world sent in suggestions on who should be awarded the prize. And uh, a very, very impressive list of candidates was then whistled down by the jury to the three finalists. And on the jury, I'll tell you their names tomorrow, but I can just tell you that they were CV-heavy people from organizations such as Al Jazeera, uh, the MIT Stanford Venture Lab, and Toka Boca, and many other others. And this jury has done their job very, very well. They've left you with three worthy finalists to choose the winner from, because you get to decide. Now, as you entered this room, you should have been handed a ballot voting slip thing. If you look down, and you'll find it in your hand. Uh, as you exit the room, uh, you'll hand it back again with your vote on it, right? So now we need to figure out who to vote for. And uh, there it is, to present you with the stories of three very special businesses. Please welcome our finalists, Ola Ruch from Airbnb, Jonas Wieg from Bambuser, and Johan Salo from Nivinavi. <laughs> Ola will start. Yeah. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. So first of all, thank you for, uh, for hosting us, Media Evolution. Congratulations with the prize, and it's an honor to be here to represent Airbnb. Airbnb is a trusted community marketplace. We give people access to unique travel experiences around the world by connecting hosts and travelers who rent their room on Airbnb. Actually, right now we have 200,000 listings in 192 countries across the world. And if you choose to travel with Airbnb, you might end up staying with this couple in Brooklyn. You can rent their spare bedroom, you can rent their couch, you can even rent their living room floor if you're more of the scrappy type. You can also rent a villa in Florida, a flat here in Malmö, or a penthouse in New York. Or if you're more of the adventurous type, why don't you go for a castle in Scotland, an igloo in Greenland, airplanes, boats, tree houses. If you can sleep there, most likely we got it. And recently we announced 10 million nights booked. And behind our success, is a strong belief that access is greater than ownership. By giving people the access to visit all these unique places, meet these people they would never have met before, we are changing the way that people experience the world. We also believe that we couldn't actually have done this without having a trusted and secure platform online where people can connect before they meet offline. I hope you all get an Airbnb, Airbnb experience very soon. Thank you for having us. My name is uh, Jonas Wieg. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Bambooser. And this is Bambooser. Live video broadcasting from mobile phones, webcams, DV cameras, and even these bad boys up here that are uh, sending live from here tonight. When we started Bambooza, we set out on a mission to democratize live video broadcasting. We thought that uh, we also thought that the big media companies would never be able to compete with potentially millions of live reporters out there in the world. We've since seen a lot of things being shared on Bambooser. Everything from cute puppies, birthdays, cute kids, well, coffee mugs. But we're also seeing and increasingly seeing inconvenient truths and breaking news being shared and broadcasted live from angles we've never seen before. We've seen individuals being able to bypass the likes of CNN and Sky hosting their own live press conferences with the world as their audience. We're even seeing a war being live broadcasted. This is a video from one of our users, Homs Live, broadcasted live from his rooftop in Homs, Syria. Through our partnership with the Associated Press, 
we can provide our users with an unparalleled distribution platform for their newsworthy content. What this means to Homs Live, this user, was that his video was aired live on more than 80 networks, more than 600 times, reaching more than 200 million eyeballs. We believe that by bringing traditional media companies to our consumer platform and vice versa, we can provide a unique value to our ecosystem, but also to the world. We are on a mission to democratize live video broadcasting, and we are passionate and we are very convinced on staying true to this mission. Thank you very much for your attention, and we'd uh, appreciate your vote. Hello, my name is Yuan, and I'm what? Wait, I have this project called Nivi Navi, and it's a virtual walking stick and also a learning game. And the key features in this game is that it's fun to train with the walking stick for blind kids, and of course, it's non visual because it's for blind people. And and uh, we made a groundbreaking way on learning how to walk outdoors with the help of our game. And also the leaders can edit the game and put out courses outdoors. Uh, so I'll try to explain the game for you people that can still see. Uh, first of all, there's a farmer that lost all his animals because of the evil professor that tried to kill them. So the coaches put out the animals randomly outdoors from the home to school, for example. And then the uh, kids search like this. And they can hear where, where, in what direction the animals are. And when they get near the animals, you can hear like and then you should net it and you hear sound and the animal screams. <laughs> so, and you do this on time because time motivates you to hurry up. So, where is that? Here's a little clip of the usage. So there's Linus. He's the opposite to blind. He sees too much light so he can't see. So he walks like that with the help of his stick. And then he screams. And they had never ever played a game outdoors before. But with the help of our game, they can do it. And the, the main thing that one said that was this was the first time the blind kid was leading the coach outdoors because they knew where to go. So, the future, shareable routes online and multiplayer, that's the main thing we're going to focus on. Thank you.